<sighs> right, Alan. Get your finger blasting ass over here. <laughs> Someone messaged me last night saying I'm get Alan to do it, the finger blaster, and it made me laugh. Right, guys, as always, welcome back to a new video. We're here in the garage today. We've got a little bit of a different setup as I finally invested in some new camera equipment, but that's fine. Um, we've got a monster. Alan's feeling a bit under the weather. Got a couple jobs to do on the car, but I just wanted to take a couple seconds to not only explain what we're doing, but at the same time, you know, get a little bit of chat out of him. It's, it's rare early in the morning. It is, I am burned out. <laughs> he basically does night shifts. I'm not gonna divulge as to where he does them, but all the same, he comes back super tired. But luckily, today his night shift wasn't that bad. So, we've got him in, in top form, and uh, we're gonna crack a monster. As those of you who know, know. Monster, the white ultra is the one. Yeah, yeah, Do you want to take yourself one of these and we can uh, sort ourselves out? Now, guys, we're gonna do a couple things. We're gonna try and carpet the back. As at the moment, it's completely empty. We've got some carpet down to the side of the camera that you can probably just see off screen. Um, the, main, the main reason was to cut holes in it so that the adjustable top mounts from the callovers do actually poke through that, so we can adjust it while still having the carpets attached. But we've also got some tweeters to fit in the front. We've got some custom headlights arriving today oh, as God well. Way, mate. Oh my God, they're gonna be sick. Yeah, yeah. They are custom ST1 headlights. I didn't yeah. actually want Xenon ones, yeah. but now I'm just super hyped. They've yeah, got, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna <laughs> give details that. away, but let's yeah. enjoy this. Yeah, but... He'd never even had one of these until, what? Is that true? I think you haven't, had you? No. I'm not gonna get you hooked. Now, there's no sugar, so I suppose you yeah. can remove that side of the guilt trip. Yeah. There we go. Cheers, bud. Cheers, there we go. Right, so, um, while we make an absolute mess, we'll let you guys enjoy the intro and we'll join you guys over show shortly. But, cheers to a new video. We'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. Right, Alan, do me one favor. Just jump in my back end. I'll force um, myself in. You did actually leave the light turned off. Have you got any excuses for that or not? Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to save the environment and do it for Greta. Uh, all those polar bears and penguins that are flipping, getting suntans. No, look, you're not allowed to disrespect the animals. I'm a massive David Attenborough fan. <laughs> you're, you're more than welcome to meet the hell out of Greta But not the polar bears. So, guys, just to give you a little bit of context, what he's actually doing in here, uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but down here is the adjustable top mount for the rear BC callovers. We're trying to find the exact point that the actual adjustable bit can poke through the carpet. Now, although we've had it stripped out, it makes a lot more sense to have the carpet in there, as I'm sure that any of you that have actually tried this, when you remove all the carpets, all you hear is noise and little stones hitting the wheel arches, and rain and everything you don't want to hear inside the, uh, inside the cabin. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off the video by actually poking the adjustable part through the carpet so that obviously it's then adjustable with the carpets in place. Now while Alan goes ahead and actually gets that sorted, I'm gonna be getting a couple of things done off camera. Now if you can see how dirty the car is, I just paid £2.50 to clean the car in the rain, ran out of money halfway through and basically left the rear end covered in bubbles. It's basically the same thing that happens to me when I'm in the shower and the doorbell rings and parcel falls are knocking on the door. So yeah, I'll go and get everything done and we'll join you guys ever so shortly. Let me guess where I'm going to see. Is it somewhere nice and fun? I'd say it's fun. Well, I'm going to Auschwitz. Oh my God. I am going to go I to the gas chambers. I can't imagine anything more depressing. And I'm basically going to lock the ex-girlfriend in the gas chambers. Oh, and, uh, controversial. Travel home alone, no joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny, all the same. We're going to Poland to have a little bit of a getaway. And uh, I think it's going to be a good laugh. I've always wanted to go to be fair and I can speak a bit of Polish, so I thought it'd be fun. Have you managed to make an easy job so difficult, Alan? I don't know. Has your night shift been, been a struggle? Yeah, it has been a bit struggly. Come on, brother. <laughs> to those of you that are visually impaired, we're cutting through the carpet with a Stanley knife. Yeah. Just making that little hole to try and get it to pop over the top and then go around the carpet rather than doing a great big circle. Alan, do you have a fresh joke for us today? I haven't. I'm, I'm all out of dad jokes. Oh, come on. Just push the tip through, Alan. Go Just on. can't get a tip in. Spit on it. Oh. He never ever cut towards you. And always make sure you have your garage close to a hospital. Yeah, but just make sure though that before you put it in, you stick your finger in like that. Go on, stick your finger in uh, deep. Uh, uh. 
No, it's still really tight. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Yes. There we go. Oh. Got it in. Thudded it in. Look at that. It's almost. We're just going to put the trims around it, make it all nice and tidy after. Yeah, we can do that after. For I sure. think rather than using a hole saw and having a gap around it that you might need a grommet, I think that looks reasonable. Awesome. Oh, look at that. Click, 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 click. Boom. Oh, yes. yes, Alan. Ugh. <laughs> There's so much room for vaping in here. How many tins of bottles of chrome did you use? Um, I think I, saw, I heard on the news that it's 17. Only the not. I know they don't do. I'm not an alcohol drink. Well, I say I'm not an alcohol drink. I'm not a beer drinker. Yeah. I don't know if they come in cans, but it's 17 glass bottles of Corona will guarantee you coronavirus. Because I had 10, I felt hungover. I Some horrible man on Facebook stuck a picture up of an Asian guy, circled it with a red thing, and said, "Stay away." <laughs> no <laughs> so way. mean. Right, okay, um, I'm thinking... I've heard it's been heavily discounted in the supermarkets. Right, that's in. I need to put the plastic back in. Now, it does actually have guiding points on it, guys, so it's actually really simple. Um, I say it's really simple, but then getting it in always takes two tries. But no, it's, uh, it's not too bad. Get the guiding points in, Mike. Yes, Alan. That's in, yeah, so that, you need to bend the rubber around the sides. Other than that, that's it. Uh, Like those Aussie man commentating videos. Aussie man reviews. Aussie man reviews. My God, it's funny. Does literally make me drop. Right, that's that one done, Mike. Look at that perfection. And it's in. Yeah. Obviously, the callover adjustment tool is just here. Not the uh, adjustment tool that you're thinking of, um, but the little twisty piece on top of the uh, the rear strut. So simples. I won't bore you with the next one, but we'll uh, go and get some more exciting bits done. Now I'm going to try my best to actually sit in here. <laughs> Basically guys, the plastic surrounds that these original tweeters sit in don't fit directly with the vibe ones that came in the box. Now, they do fit, they can be modified to fit, but obviously because I did the speakers with Ross outside, it was very cold at the time, I didn't really want to be fiddling and breaking things apart. Now what we've done, is we found that you can actually take off the plastic fascia that sits on the, the original vibe bits that come in the box and we can modify them to fit. Now there is also a cable that splits the signal, the frequencies between the door card speakers and the tweeters. We're not gonna do that today. We're gonna plug the tweeters in, see how they sound. That way on video, both times we've got testing without the cable, the frequency cable and with the cable. So it just makes more sense to do it this way today. Alan, if you just come onto screen now and show the box that we've got, Ta -da. I'll give them an idea as to what we were dealing with. We basically got these speakers here. Um, they're fantastic, absolutely loved them. Obviously I fitted them already, they're in the door cards down here. But these were the plastic fascias that initially were making it unable to fit into the actual door. So we've taken those off uh, in another video beforehand. And these tweeters here are gonna be put in. We're gonna try and make them work and uh, see if they do work without the frequency splitter. So, for those of you that need to, uh, you know, want to copy what I'm up to. Can you pick up anything that maybe the viewers would need to know regarding the tweeters? Yeah, well that's the problem is that all manufacturers put their own fancy connectors on that won't go straight onto the speakers. So you're either going to have to make little adapters or you're going to have to cut them. Um... Let me just show them the, the, the connections that come with the yeah. tweeters from the box. <clears throat> I, don't, I can't actually see the screen. Um, hang on, if I put my hand out. So they're like little blades. Yeah, so obviously you're gonna to need to splice them yourself. Obviously these did initially have um, fascias on them. And if you put them next to that one, just to show the size, they now are the same size, near enough. Mm. Don't know how much you guys can see there. the housing and sort out the connection. Yeah, so like, like Alan just said, we're gonna bond it into the initial housing that's down here. Yeah. But like I said, guys, this is the the fascia itself, you can see that it does fit. Now it's not going to come out, but because it's ever so loose, just a little bit, we're going to bond it in. Now we'll find a way to do that, and then it's simply just splicing these cables in and uh, attaching it back into the door. So let's go ahead and uh, get this sorted, Matt. Alan's getting a little bit of hocus pocus going on over here yeah, with so some Araldite. 
Yeah. Of course, there's no clips that's just going to hold this in. So you've got an option really of either using some like RTV adhesive or a, a, an epoxy adhesive to dab on the corners to try and hold it in. So yeah, I'm just mixing some Aeraldide up. <coughs> Wouldn't it be nice if you get sponsored by Aeraldide? <laughs> or WD-40. Or WD-40 would be cool. Yeah. To be fair, okay, right, here's a, here's a good question for you. This will be funny for the viewers, and they can let me know in the comments. This is addressed to both the viewers and you, Alan. Yeah. If whatever it is that you do in life, whatever your niche was, mm -hmm. if you had a YouTube channel, what would be your two dream sponsors? Oh. And they could be anything. I'm not going to say Corona. <laughs> it would be one of be a whiskey manufacturer, yeah. a whiskey distiller. Um, I don't know, you have to be, a, a, and again, a, a car manufacturer, something like that. So, but, yeah, whiskey and cars, I think, would be nice. Yeah? Yeah. How about you? Nando's oh, and Sony. Oh, Sony. So Sony would provide camera equipment, lenses, new batteries, new equipment when it came out, TVs, Playstations. Yeah. And then, obviously, Nando's would uh, motivate me to get out of bed in the morning, knowing that I had Nando's for breakfast, Nando's for lunch, and Nando's yeah. for supper. So you still don't know which end's positive and negative because the multimeter didn't do jack shit. So this is what we're going to be using to draw in the wires. They are Chineseium solar sleeves. You can buy packs them from Amazon and the rest of it. Um, yeah, one second. So it's got solder inside and it's a heat shrink out tube and it'll make for a good tight joint and seal them. You don't want a loose joint. If you're going to have a joint at all, make sure it's tight. Make sure your joint's tight. Uh, 500 likes on this video, we'll drink a whole bottle of whiskey together. Yeah, and answer some questions. Conor McGregor's proper 12. Yeah. There we go. That's cool, isn't it? That's it. Okay, it's a flamethrower. It's going to huff and puff and huff and puff and huff and puff and then we'll turn it down. Don't want it burning the sleeve as such, but you want it melting the solder. God, I hate being ill. <clears throat> Normally I'm like a terminator, I never get ill. Guys, please tell Alan he's not allowed to start playing Fortnite. He's got to, that's how he's going to make millions. That's how I'm going to make millions. I'm going to be like the new ninja. Oh. Back to Liverpool! Okay guys, so as you just seen, I've put it back together, it all fits in place, looks the same as it did before, just that much better. Anyway, Alan is uh, over there getting that one sorted. Once we've done that, we've got a couple more bits to do and then we're all set. It's really hard when you've got no depth perception at all because your eyes are too close together. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's one another reason I never got picked for sports. Do you know, have you got finger blasting skills? Come here. What's Go on, for? hook that bastard in there. I can't. Oh, that great connect. Come on. Can you imagine. Have you done it already? Yeah. That weighs about half as much as the newest three series. Hmm. It's literally not staying in. I don't know, mate. I don't know. We're gonna to have to steal somebody's. Next time you go to a car meet, just rip those off and slap yours on. Have you got any folks that's gonna do it? She'll steal my wife's. See what she does. She wouldn't even know it. She won't even notice, no, of course she won't. Do you reckon they're the same? She's a Christian. Do you reckon they're the same? Do you actually reckon? She's a two and a half, this is a two. So hers is the one that's in between this and the three. Would she notice if hers is a bit flappy? <laughs> Will it hold it? and then let it stick for a bit or not. Um, maybe. Hi! <laughs> yeah, boy! Doing a video in style. We have packages, which means car parts, which means exciting videos, but this is the one that I'm most excited about. Guys, thank you for watching today's video. It's been amazing. I'm gonna make some excitement and not show you what's in the box. I've already told you it's custom headlights but I'm not going to show you any details until the next video. So tune in tomorrow 
We'll uh, be installing these to the car and all of you guys can stop roasting me in the comments for having shitty standard lights. Now, again, thank you very much for tuning in. I'm literally sat in the box like a bit of a weirdo, but all the same, um, I'm super excited. I can't wait to open them off camera. But guys, tune in tomorrow. It's going to be sick. I'm going to be installing these custom headlights to my Focus ST. But for now, smash a like rating on the video as it really helps it rank in the algorithm, which means more people that are Mark II Focus ST fans gets to watch my content. And uh, yeah. So if you haven't already, uh, subscribe for more awesome content and we'll see you guys in the next video. Juicy and the BT, roll the outro.